Lyrics is a teleprompter video generation app for Ableton Live that's the perfect solution for playback text running tracks in Ableton Live wanting to control a teleprompter. You can load the Lyrics Max for Live device in Ableton Live 11 or higher. You can create MIDI clips and rename those to have it populate a teleprompter window that will be perfectly in sync with your Ableton Live session. So no more trying to control a separate computer with a teleprompter app on it. No more trying to pretend to be a video editor to create videos and load those into the teleprompter solution. You can create, control, and do everything directly from Ableton Live. Let me really quickly show you how easy it is to work with. So I have lyrics loaded into my Ableton Live session. You can see I've got a MIDI track here that I've named lyrics, uh, and I loaded the Max for Live device into that track. Again, it's worth mentioning you, this does take Ableton Live 11. You have to have Ableton Live 11 suite or have purchased Max for Live separately in order to use this Max for Live device. I've got it loaded into this track here. You can see I have a couple different MIDI clips, uh, and based on whatever this MIDI clip is named, uh, is, is what's gonna populate the lyrics window. Now, one nice thing about that is that means I could go into these lyrics, for example, here, this first line, uh, and let's uh, let's rename this MIDI clip here. So this MIDI clip, uh, instead of saying from old Saint Nick, this is a fun little holiday song, let's have it say old, okay? So let's remove the D, press enter. Now, before, I would have to go back to my video software, get the note from the artist, from the manager, edit that, re-export, drop it back in, check my sync. It was as simple as editing a MIDI clip in this case, which is great. Now, you could certainly create MIDI clips for every single lyric in your song in Ableton Live, but that's gonna take far too long. So Strange Electronic has come up, of course, with a really quick, fantastic solution to make this happen. We can use this lyrics importer to import a .txt or a LRC file into Ableton Live to generate and create our MIDI clips. So let me delete all these MIDI clips uh, that I had loaded in already. And I'll show you on my computer here, I have a text edit file um, that I, you can use anything that will edit text, save it as a .txt file. And I've got this laid out based on line spacing and where I want those lines to happen. I'm gonna go into the lyrics importer here and do load file. We're gonna click open, and it's gonna tell me that uh, my clips uh, are gonna be two bars in length. Uh, my clips will end at bar 79, and it's gonna start generating clips based on the playhead. So I'm gonna click generate clips, and you'll see those drop into my session. Now, if you happen to have a vocal stem, lead vocal stem, this is gonna make this way easier and faster to line these up for the song. If not, even if you have like an MP3 reference, uh, that's gonna help a little bit. But the lead vocal stem really, really helps because you can see exactly where the lyric starts, where, where the singer is singing. And you can get these, uh, these cues lined up exactly the way you want to. So we can nudge these around. We could have this one happen a little sooner, uh, maybe a little later. And again, just get this customized exactly the way we want to for our song. So we've got our MIDI clips loaded in. How do we actually get this to show up? So if I click hide lyrics just for a second and then show you my external display. So this is actually, I've got a, uh, a cable run from my computer here uh, to basically an external output, which could be a projector. It could be a uh, another computer monitor, LED screen. You could just send it to Video World and tell them to deal with it. But I basically have that set up. And what I'm gonna do is go back into lyrics here and let's click on show lyrics. You see that little window show up. Now what I can do is press escape and that's gonna show just a full black screen. Now with lyrics, you can certainly customize this, have a, a custom background set up if you want to, but for now, I've just got this set to be a black screen. And then again, what I can do is jump anywhere in my song, press play, and immediately my lyrics show up. Now they're gonna scroll in time, which is a huge, uh, really, really great feature, but I can customize by going into lyric settings, the way they look, the speed in which they move to either have them sync to the tempo or not just a default speed. Again, I could change and load my background image and even have the lyrics clear if I want to, um, uh, based on if there's nothing happening, a MIDI clip, nothing new happened, I could have that clear after a certain amount of time. So again, if you're doing and uh, trying to control a teleprompter, trying to sync lyrics for the artists you're working with, this is the best solution if you're running tracks in Ableton Live to make this happen. You can create, you can edit, and you can control your teleprompter directly from Ableton Live. Now, to purchase lyrics, to find out more information, to contact support, click the link in the description of this video or head to the Strange Electronic website. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everybody.